these guys are winners, right? I mean, they're just at the very top, I and mean, they all are, but at the top two, flat out winners and productive. Who's number one all time? I, I don't know how you can do this. I've got I've to say this. I'm listening to these names. How do you compare? The game has changed so much in the last five years, mm. and Derek Jeter has not played in five years. How do you compare Derek Jeter and Cal Ripken? I can give you a, a thing, because I was there for all of Derek's career. I know that one day we're all sitting in Joe Torre's office, and Roger Clemens says, if there's two outs in the ninth inning, I want the in the World Series, I want the ball hit to Derek Jeter. And Joe Torre said, and I want him up in the bottom of the ninth inning. I have no idea. How do you compare Derek Jeter with what he had to do with a guy who didn't play in all these series? You, you, you can't. You no, can't I, do it. I, I the just, game is different. I just They're different. It. He just did it. I know he did. I know. Oh, it wasn't Mark, easy, but BK, I was able to do it. There's run, the score, there's run scoring metrics that can be uh, adjusted for the run scoring environment. My biggest yes. problem with your list is Archie Vaughn. <laughs> Archie Vaughn could flat out hit me. 1,800 games. I got the whole bit. How did you compare In the 1930s, he's but hitting like 370. That? Well, how different you... pitchers. They throw two pitches. They don't throw. How do you do this? Yeah, you do the best you can. You, you can do the run scoring <laughs> environment and what their production is. And you can use the, you know, it's crude, but you use defensive metrics and defensive reputation. In terms of even Cal Ripken, put outs and assists. It's very raw. It's old school stuff, right? But he was making 100 more outs than the guys who were playing against him right even Derek Jeter and I don't care how many ground balls your pitchers are allowing or not right. allowing if you're making a hundred more outs per season that's a great defensive player go ahead Tom. yeah well I think it is hard to compare but it's fun to do yeah. and I think okay. the top two to me are pretty obvious now differentiating between Cal and Derek is pretty darn hard mm -hmm. I look at the entire career I don't look at a seven-year peak a 17 <gasps> I count every game that they actually played, right? Well, Jeter played more than 300 games at shortstop than Cal Ripken. He's got the higher OPS. He's got the higher adjusted OPS. Right. I give the edge to Jeter. And you want to tell me Ripken was the better defender? I'll absolutely agree with yep, you. Right. And but it's like shortstop. Susan, I will but say this, that before everybody got fell in love with metrics, which, as you know, are still evolving to mm -hmm. measure defensive mm -hmm. uh, acumen, Gene Michael, who was as good as I ever yep. saw in terms of scouting and making talent evaluations, called him a two-out shortstop. If there's two outs, you want the ball hit to Derek Jeter. He's going to make the play. Yeah. Oh, yeah can I, you measure that? No. I'm, I'm not even, but I'm not even bashing Jeter on defense because the, the metrics are not kind to him. And on the other hand, he became at least an adequate or league average defensive shortstop later. I'm not even entering that into it. But Ripken is monumental. That's what I'm saying. Except for Ozzie Smith, Ripken is probably yeah. the best fielding shortstop in the history of the game. Okay, well, he also was Derek Jeter's idol. He grew up wanting to be, before he wanted to be Dave Winfield, he was thinking of, of Cal Ripken. So that's there, too. I just, I, I think it's monumentally unfair. You want me to pick one? I'll pick the one that I saw every game for 20 years, yeah. obviously. But uh, 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 Mad Dog saw every game that every one of these guys played. I don't know <laughs> how, but somehow he did. Archie Vaughn. Archie Vaughn. I oh, saw him, too. You know, and, the and the thing about when you, you say, well, I was manager, said he's the one guy I'd want to have up. You don't think I could go to Cal Ripken's managers and coaches will. and teammates and his now, brother and say, hey, what kind of guy was Cal? Oh, like, well, you always could. those well, stories. But, listen, I, I, we, we have the top 100, right, for every different position, but if you want to go to different aspects of it, Derek Jeter with 260 home runs, if you want, 431 home runs with Cal. The, the hits, the 2,400, uh, 3,465 most hits for any shortstop. We can start peeling it back. You're doing defensive metrics. Derek, to his right, was as good as anybody. To his left, not so much. I mean, mm -hmm. you have, you know, we could continue, but I would think 158 games postseason, MVP in the World Series, five World Championships. You know, if the yeah, metric, but, uh, if, no, all that Jeter is historically monstrous. Ripken played like 5,000 straight innings. Like there's there's a there's a balance of greatness here. That's all I'm saying. What, are we doing justice to Robin Yount? Again, I, I'm watching Robin Yount as more of you know a, a kid, and I'm not watching him professional. Well, I don't think is he Robin was. Yount? No, he was tremendous. He was. Yeah. You know, it takes a lot to be able to go and be an all star in two positions. Yeah. Robin Yount was, and there are a lot of people like that. We're not even talking about uh, at all. They're not on this. Li List. There's got to be more. You got how much are you putting into defense? How much are you putting you into want? offense? Who do you want? Name one guy. I don't like these discussions. <laughs> this is what we do. If you're going to hang with us. I don't, I don't like Where the Where is Felix for me? I want, I, want, I want Archie Vaughn on this list. And I want to know, did, do we think that Mad Dog actually saw Ernie Banks play all those games? Every game said he was very good defensively. <laughs>